What the hell do you think you're doing, Catherine? You can't just hop in your car and drive off like you're hitting a town. Wanna drag? Knew you'd take it. You smoke too, Catherine. I never claimed to quit. This hardly counts, does it? A cigarette's a cigarette, dick. Would you stop this? Talk to me like a real human being, or as close as you can to being one. No, I'll talk to you how I want to talk to you. Fine! Then what? Come back home, Catherine. I can't. It's not my home. Sure it is. It's where Michael and Sarah are. They need a mother. They need parents. No, they'd be better off with a happy mother than a married one. We are happy. I'm happy. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You're not happy. How should you know? I'm just stating an observation. Well, please, elaborate. I'd love to hear all about how disappointing I am. You're happy when you're losing. Will that be at games, hobbies, work, or even me? I'm just sorry I let you in. You're psychotic. Who do you think you are getting off on belittling me? I don't need to be a failure, least of all to myself. Fuck you for thinking I don't deserve love. You're a hollow person, Catherine. You're an empty, cold-hearted bitch. I deserve to win, and if my failure is what satisfies you, then good riddance. Take the kids, and I'll start over with somebody who deserves me. Catherine. Catherine. If you didn't want to constantly disappoint yourself, you actually quit. Dyed your hair. You're late. Why didn't you tell me? Thought you'd be mad. It's your birthday. Can't be mad at you. Birthday's off for drinking, not anger. Seems like I've got those reversed. It's impressive. Never could like God damn it, Mom. I don't want your small talk. Show me that you're worth my efforts because this can't be fixed with late is better than never. That works on children. And guess what? You missed my childhood. All right. What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about the divorce. Come on, we've got our table ready. Jesus, sir, that was 20 years ago. To the day, you owe me an explanation. What about me? It wasn't about you. You were a wonderful baby. Sarah is driving me up a wall today. Catherine, I'm trying to quit. Thanks. No. 
let's try to enjoy our night out. I don't buy that. You're avoiding the truth, and I'm tired of dealing with that on the occasion we're in the same room. Excuse me? Nothing. No. It's nothing. If you have a problem, voice it. I don't. It's just... It's been a long day, and getting pretty up for you wasn't part of the agenda. Let's try to have fun at least. Honestly, no. So you don't want me to make time for you? That's not what I meant. It's just you work too much. I'd rather spend time with you at home. Since when have you not enjoyed going out? I don't know. I, I love going out. It's just not with... What? Nothing. Captain. You don't want to hear it. With you. But not with you. It's just too much work to get you to do anything. If you find something better to do, or it's my job because I don't work. I can't be expected to do everything. We need equal votes. Yes, but I am tired of having my work given to me because you've already decided yours. Sarah, for instance. You would know why Mother and her drives me crazy if you actually showed up before dinner. Okay, I admit, I need to spend more time with Michael and Sarah. And me? They're too young to understand that my working is what gets us nice things, like the big house, the TV, and fine dining. If I were just a house, if it meant that you'd be home for dinner with your children. Left us too, Catherine. At least I was one. Michael was five. He remembers you being there. Is leaving us the right decision for you too? I don't know what you want from me. I want you to impress me. I want you to show me that something I do will be worth it. Because it seems like the only thing that's come in the last 20 years is guilt and despair. Yes, it was you. It was Michael, it was Richard, it was life. I was a mother, a socialite, a housekeeper, a wife, a woman, and I wanted to be Catherine. So I left. And for every day, I regretted that decision. It made it harder to come back home. Because you know who you are. So you know what you want. You're lazy, messy, you like beer. You step into me. Take orders or be something. I wish I knew myself half as well as you do. Want one? No. Dad never let me. Are you serious? We sent you to boarding school. There were a few times with some boys out by the lake, but I didn't like them. What? How'd you start?
You still smoke? No, I quit. Shame. You've changed a lot, haven't you? I haven't. Why am I here, Catherine? What can I do? Nothing. So there's no hope? Back in school. We would go sit together somewhere and you would talk to me for hours. Remember that? We've changed, that's all. I thought that too. Till I realized that degradation is change. And how do you argue that leaving me won't be degradation? Are we only toxic? No. We were better than that, looking back on it all. Looking back, I only see myself as the problem. Yeah, well, I see myself the same way. The kids were the victims. Hindsight's twenty twenty, I guess. And what do you say of foresight? I'm choosing this. That's what's different. Where will you go? What will you do? I hate saying it like this, Catherine, but you've got nothing without me. You don't think that scares me? Not having a plan doesn't make you brave. I'm not trying to be brave. Then you're trying to be foolish. At least it's foolish. more than I've done in the last decade. The last time we were here, you sat with me pleading for our relationship. Catherine, let's just go home. You'll get over this. You're just a mess right now. Now I'm doing the same for you. We can be a husband and wife. I know we can. I know it sounds selfish. I know. But I need you for me. Please, don't make me lose you. I regret falling in love with you. I want my life back. Please, Dick. You're part of who I want to be. I want you, Catherine. I want you like I want to smoke cigarettes every day of my life. But we both see what happens when I have you. We built a life together. A life we can pick up and move on whenever. It's something to work towards. I want my life back. So tell me, will we always sit across cafe tables smoking cigarettes together? I'm done. You? When have I ever been a quitter?